Hello. Hello there, I can see some people are joining into the session now, that's good. Hello, hello Niraj, hello, hello, good to see you. Uh, Jignesh, Michael, howdy Michael, good to see you. <laughs> Moit, hello, Jai Dev, Jai Dev, yes, sorry, forgive my pronunciation, but uh, Jignesh, Nikit, hello, 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 welcome. I would probably just give it a few, we'll give it a couple of minutes. Uh, hey VJ, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you there. Um, uh, namaste, Vinay. Uh, that's great. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the greetings going for a little bit longer before I kind of start to sort of talk about uh, my journey with you. Um, Hemant. Hemant. Hi Hemant. Uh, hello there. Oh wow, gosh, we're on 24. That's quite a number already. That's great. Yeah. Jignesh, hello. Hey. Hello Ellie, my, my colleague and friend Ellie Ziegen. Hello. Krunal. <laughs> Meet, hello meet. Payal, Payal, welcome. Amit. Uh, Sagar, good to see you live. Oh, great, thank you, yes, good to be here. Shis, hello. Hi there. Oh, and a few more, and then, uh, and then uh, and I'll start. Moit, hello there. Good to see you too. Yeah, I wish I could have you all in a room in front of me. It's something I'm, I'm uh, a little bit more used to actually having that uh, physical contact, but I think we're all experiencing it right now. So this is as good as it can get, which is okay. So, so um, well, maybe you know, I'll, I'll kind of start talking now, really, and and initially is just to, just to say thank you very much to Coconut Theatre. Um, it's been wonderful actually to have this opportunity to to uh, talk to uh, an audience so far away from my uh, from my kitchen, which is where I'm sat at the moment in uh, in my little village in Buckinghamshire in England. So this is yeah, it's an incredible experience really to be able to do this. So thank you, VJ. Thank you for all the support and help uh, just to get to this point because I know I've needed quite a lot of help technically to get to this point where I can speak. Um, hello, Mandar. Welcome. Moit, hello, good to see you. Um, so yeah, thank you. Coconut Theatre is a wonderful thing you're doing. Uh, Chai Wai and uh, Rang Manch, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. I've been watching a lot of the, uh, some of the other people speaking. You've had some incredible people on this platform. Um, so yeah, it's a really wonderful thing you're doing, especially at the moment. So yeah, I'm very grateful to be here and thank you so much. Um, and yes, I... I uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, okay, I've just noticed that I, I mean, you've asked a question. So what I was what I was going to suggest is that we we leave the questions maybe until the end, because if you ask them now, I, I probably will miss them. Um, so I'm going to talk for a bit uh, just to, to, you know, to tell you why I'm here and, and what it is maybe that uh, I can uh, uh, hopefully be what, what I say that will hopefully be useful to you. And then afterwards, I'll, I'll say, you know, has anybody got any questions and then we can maybe uh, um, go into them then. So for now, um, it's really just for me to sort of chat and um, and and uh, and hopefully share with you some useful insights. Um, I think the first thing to say is that I'm I'm not a famous actor by any means at all. I am an actor, but I'm uh, I'm not a famous one. I'm I, I've worked as an actor. I've, I've been on television. I've done feature films, um, but really the reason that I've been asked to uh, and been invited to speak um, by VJ here is because um, I started uh, something called the Actors Temple um, um, about uh, gosh it was like nearly 17 years ago now um, 
And so really what I want to do is just tell you the journey, my journey as initially an actor, and then the reason why I started the Actors' Temple, and then what the Actors' Temple um, has sort of become, and, uh, and therefore the, uh, and, and the insights that I've gained as a result of that. Um, because really what I am is an acting teacher. Um, I mean, I've been teaching now for 15 years. Uh, and although I, I, I was still acting over that period of time, um, really the main focus was about, uh, about well, learning, uh, being a student of acting and teaching it uh, subsequently. Um, so that's really, um, hello, Saddam, hello, nice to see you. So that's really uh, my contribution, if you like. Um, so yeah, so how, how the Actors' Temple came about, I mean, just to sort of briefly tell you how I started as an adult, uh, my first sort of career, if you like, was, was, was something very different. I was actually a soldier in the British Army um, uh, from the age of 20 to 24. Um, and uh, so I, yeah, I was actually an army officer, uh, and so it was a very serious job for me. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I did a lot of training, and I was you know, in the army. I was wearing a uniform, holding a gun. I mean, it's, it's so far away from what I, what I am and, and what I do now. Um, but I think... It's important to sort of uh, to, to to talk about that because, um, uh, you know, at that time my you know, I, I was full as a young man of ambition and belief and desire uh, and uh, and passion, um, and you know for whatever reasons that was seemed to be the right path for me to go and join the army and and so I did that um, uh, and then. You know, I, I I decided after four years in the army that uh, actually um, maybe you know I could I could give acting a go. It's something I dreamed about as a child, and I thought, well, uh, you know, I, I I kind of it definitely wasn't part of the plan, but I think the experience of being in the army made me uh, realize that actually I I wasn't really a soldier, and I didn't really want to do that, and I probably wanted to do something different, and and acting was the only other thing. So it was either soldier or actor. I did the soldier thing, and the only other thing that was really open to me was was to be an actor. Um, uh, so somebody's just sent me a text saying no sound. Uh, is that true? Is are people able to hear me? Could maybe somebody just confirm that they can hear me? Uh, just because uh, I don't want to just be visual, that won't be much use to you at all. Uh, sound is clear. Okay, Mohit, thank you. So, so maybe uh, Sudhir, it's the problems your end with the sound. So sorry about that. Hopefully, you can sort it out. Um, so yes, so uh, so I was a soldier, and I, but I uh, thanks Vijay. Yeah, uh, I left I, I left the army, and I I, I thought all right, I'm going to do this acting thing, um, um, and so I went to a, a, a drama school um, and uh, a British drama school in London, and I trained to be an actor. And I suppose what you know something just to to keep coming back to was what was my drive for that and and it was it was about passion it was about uh it was about ambition it was about desire I wanted to be a movie star um I wanted to be famous I wanted to earn lots of money money uh and all those things which uh, are perfectly okay um and I think there's a lot of that because you know it, it's like sort of Acting and, f and football, maybe, or uh, those two things that when you, we, we see people who reach the pinnacle of those professions and they earn a lot of money and they have great glamorous lives, although they, they, they seem to. Uh, and, 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 and for actors, they get to, you know, act in big films and all the rest of it. And it's very attractive. Um, and I think that that can be the drive that a lot of people have uh, to get into acting. Um, and, and it was for me, for sure. Um, but then a s sort of a few things happened. Maybe I could describe them as reality hit me. Um, you know, we, we have an expression, it was a reality check, really, which is actually, it's not all that easy. Um, and just because you go to drama school doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to become a movie star. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and so so... Over the next few years, from leaving drama school, and I was lucky I got an agent, I did a few things on television, I did plays, I did a few films. But what started to happen uh, uh, as I got it more into it was 
that I had a kind of a realization that I didn't really know what it is that I was doing. Um, and I felt very self-conscious and I felt very nervous. And despite having trained at a drama school, I didn't really feel very equipped. Um, and then eventually I, I produced a, a play by myself and I was, uh, I was uh, supported by some friends who gave me some money and I, I put a lot of e effort and energy into this little play. It's a South African play called Playland that I produced at a, a small theatre in, in central London. And I had this director work with me uh, called Mark Graham, actually. He was a very, uh, one of, uh, quite a well-known director in South from South Africa and he came over to direct this play. It's a South African play. And it was good, it was okay, you know, it was well reviewed, it was a good experience. But um, what I, uh, uh, what happened at the end of it was that the director, Mark, said to me, he said, well, you know, y you're good, um, but there's an awful lot you don't know. And if you ever really want to be good at this, you're going to need to find out, you need to, you're going to need to really train yourself. You're going to need to sort of make a lot of changes. And I hadn't really thought of it like that because I'd thought I'd gone to drama school and uh, that was enough. Uh, and so this started to play on my mind. I went, gosh, I need to actually, you know, I can't just presume that just because I'm an actor and I've got an agent that I'm going to, you know, this is going to fulfill me. It's going to get me somewhere. Uh, and so uh, and so I, I started to talk to actor friends. Uh, and the environment at the time was pretty much you know, the only thing that people wanted to talk about, and this is fellow actors, was uh, was about their agent, who who their agent was, um, what castings they had been for, um, and nobody was really talking about acting itself, the actual thing that we do, you know, the actual experience of it. Nobody wanted to really talk about that. In fact, if you engage with those conversations, sort of people just sort of wanted to kind of move away from you um you know it was it, and it was quite a competitive environment and so as a result of this i thought well i, I you know i'm either going to i'm either going to stop doing this because it just doesn't feel good or i'm going to do something about it and and so i decided to get some actor friends together who i knew were maybe a little bit more open and interested to talk about other things than just the career you know the industry uh, and to my surprise, there was a lot of uh, um, a lot of actors that um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna. There's a qu another question come up. I will. I'll, I'll try and answer these questions at the end. Uh, so Tusha, if you can maybe ask that question again uh, towards the end, that would be great. Um, and I just started to kind of you know get uh, director friends to come and and host uh, what I called classes, uh, maybe workshops. Um, and we, did, I was sort of uh, getting favours from people to give me space to to use. I, I worked as a personal trainer in a gym in London, and um, and the the gym allowed me to use one of the studios for free. So I so I had this space, and I was getting these sort of director friends in, and my actor friends, and we were getting together, and we started to sort of look at plays and look at things. Um, and it was great. It was at least we were focused on um, on on something other than just our careers. It, it it seemed that there was you know we weren't feeling less alone um, because it's a very lonely process just going to castings or doing what now is maybe self tapes, which is the big thing. Um, it's a very lonely um, environment really for actors um, if they're just going to do that. So. So I, I noticed that people were really loving just coming together once or twice a week, hanging out, talking about acting, looking at plays, looking at scenes, getting a bit of advice from some of the directors I uh, had invited. Um, but then eventually I had a guy come, come along who, um, who was an acting teacher. He said he was an acting teacher and he wanted to get back into teaching. So I said, come along, we, we, we'll take anybody, you know, we, we, we're completely open. And this guy came along, and his name was Tom, Tom Radcliffe. And he started to take classes. Um, and what he was saying was different to what everybody else had been saying up to that point. Um, and this was kind of, it was like the, the first thing that made me think was when that director, the South African director, told me that, you know, I could be good, but I, I got a lot of work to do. Uh, and then the second moment was when I met Tom, and he... 
he kind of looked at me one day in a class and he said that, you know, you're, you're putting on a mask. You know, your behavior is, is, the way you present yourself to the world is, is not true. It's not true to you. You know, you're being, basically you're saying I was being fake. Um, which is a massive shock. I mean, it was a massive shock to my, to my ego, I suppose, at the time. Um, but it was the most important thing anybody had ever said to me. Um, and, uh, and started me on the journey with training uh, as a student under this guy called Tom. Um, it may be of interest that, to, to you that Tom had trained with an American teacher called Sanford Meisner. Um, who's, uh, who was alive up until uh, the, the 1990s. But he was one of the, ma the, big, the big acting teachers in America um, in, the, uh, in the 20th century. Uh, and Tom was one of the few British actors that had, had, had had the experience of training with this guy. So he had an incredible experience. Um, but all, also what Tom was teaching was fundamentally different to what I'd kind of been taught before. And the big difference was that... Um, uh, he started you from the very beginning, which was to look at, uh, look at yourself. You know, really ask the questions of 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 of, uh, of who am I, uh, and how am I presenting myself to the world? And there's a series of exercises that he taught us, which which would emphasise this. Um, one of the the most profound exercises that we do, uh, that, that that he taught us was just to stand opposite another actor. Uh, so two actors standing opposite each other. And uh, and just basically noticing each other, but but noticing each other in an honest way, uh, not trying to perform, not trying to make it sound interesting um, or elaborate, um, but literally just to sort of be with with how this person was in front of you and to notice them. Um, and so, um, hello Sandeep, hello there. Yes, I have Sandeep. Uh, uh, as well, so, uh, somebody who's who, who is uh, uh, one of the links to get me into this to speaking to you today. So thank you, Sandeep. Good to see you. Um, um, so yeah, basically, what Tom um, uh, was teaching us at this little group at the time was the importance of um, self inquiry, um, and actually, the key to acting. Um, the real key to the real acting is to is to learn some very specific skills which we kind of forget about when we're very passionate and we're very ambitious um, and then there, and, and then there's money to be earned and there's there's sort of castings to be had and all the rest of it you can get quite distracted by that uh, and you, and it's very fast paced as well so you kind of forget that actually you need to spend time maybe looking at what it is you actually do and Tom taught us a way of looking at that. And that's what the Actors Temple has become. And, uh, and, that's, uh, and that was like in 2003, 2004. And, and so basically what we've done is, uh, is we've, we've, um, extracted, uh, we've extracted ourselves uh, from uh, the kind of the, the machine of the commercial world of acting, if that makes sense. Because it is a bit of a machine, you know. Uh, the life of an actor and a director, and I'm speaking to directors and writers here, is the same. The life of a of an actor is to is to get a job, um, and of course that there is truth in that. Um, but I suppose what I hadn't realised was actually more importantly is that the life of an actor is to is to uh, explore your subject, is to constantly be working at becoming a better actor uh, and if you're just going to castings and you're not really uh, trying to Im improve specifically your skills then you're probably not going to improve very much um, and it's kind of like it's the analogy um, I often make between you know a musician or a dancer and an actor actors often think because because basically, you know, what is what is it I do? I behave. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human being. I don't need to, to know much more about it. Um, and so I, I'm already kind of qualified to be an actor. And in some regard, we all are qualified to be an actor. Um, but, um, you know, it, actually, those things, those skills that we need to really be a great actor are not things that we're taught. And in fact, 
living a life in society um, goes against a lot of those those things, those those skills that we need to develop to be a good actor. Um, so, for example, you know, we we all have our personalities, and we all have a way that we present to the world. Um, and those become habits, and that habitual behaviour actually ends up being how we then act. And actually, the job of an actor is not to uh, is not to just be how we are. Our job as an actor ultimately is to play characters. And to play characters, we need to have a uh, we need to understand how we need to change ourselves to adapt ourselves to be able to play that character in an authentic way. Uh, and so, unless we've put an awful uh, amount of time uh, uh, into really um, finding out firstly how we are naturally and then how our mechanism works, how our mind works, how our body works, we're, we're only going to be really acting from the, uh, from the point of view that we present to the world normally from our own personalities. And so I think that... Uh, I think this is something, it's, it's so simple, it sounds so simple what I'm saying, is of course we need to do that. But actually, when you start to stand opposite somebody and look into their eyes and say what you see and, and allow them to talk to you in, in, in that way as well, without a filter, without being polite, without being appropriate, being absolutely direct, you start to realise how much of our lives up to that point is just a series of kind of, um, I don't know, uh, little characters that we're playing. Ways of manipulating our way through a situation, ways of getting what we want and all those sort of things based on our experience. And, and actually to really just simply be with someone and to really simply be with ourselves uh, in a way that would allow you then to consciously build a character um, is not something we're very good at and it's quite it's quite a surprise for people when they first experience that um, so that's really you know what the actor's temple has been all about um, uh, for uh, you know for, for the last 15 years is just creating the space for actors to explore this without um, without the um, pressure um, of the commercial world of having to get jobs um, and and that's really what we've become known for uh, and so yeah it, it, in to all intents and purposes we are you know we are an acting school uh, and we do classes but I think that maybe the the most significant thing about the work that we do um, is that the emphasis is not on trying to create movie stars. Um, if people come from the Actors Temple or come from a training like this uh, and they go off and have great careers, that's wonderful. Um, but I suppose what we're trying to teach people, what we've been, I suppose what I've learned myself, uh, and I know many, many hundreds of others have experienced this as well, is to connect with, uh, to a way of acting and to the life of an actor, which isn't dependent on being successful in a casting. Because that's a very kind of, uh, it's a very unreliable form. It's a, it's a very, uh, you know, it's difficult to get jobs. And if you're relying on that being your fulfillment for an actor, then, you know, you're, you're, you're taking a bit of a risk. However, if you if you're an actor because you you really want to look at the subject deeply uh, then it is incredibly fulfilling and i mean look at me i mean although i've, I've worked as an actor actually i'm a, i'm a teacher and and i get so much satisfaction from that it's incredible uh it's so lovely to share knowledge to pass on knowledge and to see other people fly with it and take it in whatever direction they want to i mean we've had um we've had students that have left off le left us which have you know, some of them have, have gone on to, to sort of be quite successful, but others have, have started their own companies, their own small companies, um, theatre companies, they've written plays, they've written films, they've made films. But, you know, with, without the emphasis being on necessarily having to sort of, um, you know, make lots of money out of it, they're doing it because they love doing it. 
And so I suppose the big message from me, um, and maybe the insight I've had, uh, and there is really only one in, in, main insight, and an insight being a, a deeper understanding of something, is that, um, is that yes, passion for something. And I hear a lot of people talking. I'm very passionate about. I'm, I'm a passionate, passionate actor. I'm very passionate. Uh, and ambition, you know, and desire, and all these things, are important. But be careful that they don't become what things are. What 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 it's really about. Uh, and actually, the qualities that we need to develop as actors, uh, and in fact, as human beings, I'd suggest as well, just generally, are um, it's more in line with uh, uh, with with connection, um, with uh, yeah, with connection, um, with surrender. I think that's another really important word. Uh, so co connection, surrender, and then expression. So your acting comes out of a place of connection rather than a place of passion. There can be some good things that come out of passion. Um, but uh, I, would, I would suggest that they're less interesting than the ones that come out of connection. And so what we're trying to develop... Uh, you know, in the same way as a musician is is developing their sort of physical ability to play an instrument, what an actor is developing is their ability to deeply connect with themselves, with their other actors, with the world around them. And actually, there's a in some ways you could say that there's a great uh, a spiritual aspect to what it is that we do as actors. Uh, and directors and writers. I, I really do speak uh, as the, the three main components, I suppose. Um, th th you know, the, the three main participants in 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 creating plays and, and films and things. Um, um, so yeah, it, it is it is it is about being a human being, and it's about connecting with that. It's about connecting with yourself. It's about learning really to listen, because when you develop those skills, it's incredible. Um, what uh, what uh, fulfillment you can get from it. Um, so that's really kind of that's really my main uh, that's really my main insight. There's no other you know there, there, there's lots I could talk about the detail about you know the technical ways of of training these things and all the rest of it. But that's you know that requires people to do training and come on courses and and do all that sort of stuff. But I think it's just maybe the the what I'm offering you today is is just a kind of a, uh, maybe a, a thought, maybe something to think about, um, which is that, uh, yeah, which is that to be an actor is, is, is an incredibly, uh, uh, incredibly deep personal experience. And it can be, and should be, I think, if you want to be an actor, uh, it should be part of every part of your life. Uh, training uh, is just a part of it. But you know, being curious about about the world, being curious about our feelings, being curious about the way we respond, um, being curious and open and compassionate—all these things that, again, these words are not, you know, they're used generally in in other in other to, to describe other experiences. Um, but I think these things are the things that we need to put right at the top of our list. You know, if if you become more you know, if you work on your compassion, which is your ability to, um, to, to listen, your ability to really take on and see uh, what is going on in others in a way that opens your heart to them uh, and opens your mind to them uh, is absolutely key uh, to being able to play a great scene in a movie. And I think that that's really what I want to say. Um, so I kind of... I mean, I've been speaking for about 30 minutes now, really only to make that point. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I got to that point. And so, so maybe, um, I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, less, I'm less good at, at sort of, would, less good at answering questions about the, the industry, you know, favourite actors and all those sort of things. I suppose I'm less, uh, I'm less qualified in that area. But if any, you know, but if but if anybody wants to ask me questions about that, that's also fine. I'll I'll ask answer as honestly as I can, 
Um, but it's, uh, are there, if there's any other maybe questions that are more to do with, you know, the actual inner work of an actor, uh, the actual technique of an actor, uh, that's probably what I, I'm more useful for, and you know you've got me <laughs> now for a, a while. So so let's let's have a look to see if there is uh, any questions. So yeah, I've got what's your favourite actor uh, as well as character and why. Okay, uh, do you prefer to direct as you are acting? Or to... Okay, I like. So this is uh, Tushar. You asked me. So who is your favourite actor uh, as well as character? Well, I think there is a there is an answer I have for that, uh, which is I don't really have a favourite actor. Um, but I kind of, um, I recognise when I'm watching actors work, I recognise when they're doing something great. And I think, you know, you, you get very successful actors, very good actors. They're just people that do something very great consistently. But I have students that come, and, and even very early on in the stages uh, of the training with us, do the most amazing things and it may just be a moment that they've done it but for me that is incredibly satisfying and I would class that as great acting and I would say in that moment they are my favorite actor <laughs> maybe that's a way of answering so yeah I mean I could say Julianne Moore for example is a wonderful actress because she throws herself in there and she's uh, uh, and she's always exciting to watch but you know she, she's she's a she's she's a, a rare being uh, and then it's kind of like I enjoy it, but but I don't think any it's any less for an actor to be doing a scene in a class and doing something incredible uh, because it, it, in essence they're doing the same thing. It's just Julianne Moore's life has gone on that journey, and this actor that I'm working with in the studio is 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 on their journey. They both have the same value to me, so that's really the answer. Um, let's have another look. Um, current situation of the theatre in the UK well I haven't actually mentioned it because I know the big new you know everything going on with the pandemic and the, the coronavirus thing yeah I mean at the moment it's awful the, the current situation of theatre in the UK is, is is that it's it's not happening um, and there's great uh, there's great challenges ahead for everybody in 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 I mean across the board isn't it it's all of us globally um, uh, from businesses personally so yeah, it's it, at the moment current situation is that there is no uh, UK theatre apart from and maybe this is just another chance to say you know apart from what you know people like VJ are doing at Coconut Theatre which is this this is this is happening and this wasn't happening before uh, people are talking online people are sharing stuff with actually a wider audience maybe talking about the nuts and bolts rather than just putting on plays and things so maybe this is a great opportunity to see how we can adapt to the situation um but yeah that is the current situation um hello uh ashok hello uh are you performing plays you no we're not performing any plays uh, i mean there's stuff online happening a lot of my colleagues are doing play readings which is great uh so yeah i mean that was never happening before so yeah, there, there are there are things happening it's just different uh, how much improv, Megan, hello Megan, how much improv work do you do? All our work pretty much is, I mean, the backbone of our work is improv, is improvised. Um, the reason for that is that we're trying to sort of train the body and the mind um, before we start to look at uh, the, the scenes. Uh, so we're trying to sort of, um, yeah, really uh, get a grip of what's going on here and what's going on over there with you. Uh, before we start getting distracted by um, looking at text. So actually, in, in our training, we wouldn't look at text for a good few months. We'd be doing a lot of improvisational work up until then. So that's, yeah, we do a lot of improvisation. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, which is most liked. To be, I, I, I admit, I do not know Indian theatre. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I know, I know one actor... Um, uh, Arpit, uh, Arpit Chowdhury, uh, who's one of my students, and I know he's doing he's doing reasonably well now. So I, I suppose I'd have to say that Arpit is my uh, is my uh, uh, favorite actor in India. Uh, Coconut Theatre. Tell me something about Captain Ah, Captain Tom Ryan. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I did. I I I I, I, I did a TV series uh, called Primeval, um, and because I've been a soldier, uh, I, I I quite easily got cast as soldiers and things. So I did a TV series called Primeval, uh, and I played Captain Tom Ryan in that. 
which was just a lot of fun. It was it was great fun. Um, it, it, it was uh, a real joy to do that. Uh, I got killed though uh, at the end of the first season, so that was it for me. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was it was great fun to do. Yeah. Um, there are any Indian play again. I'm sorry, I don't know too much about Indian plays, so I'm really not able to answer that. Um, I don't know about Peter Brooks, the empty space. I'm going to be honest with you. I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Uh, I, I, I. I suppose I'm not a very. Um, I'm very much a doer. Uh, I like to be in the room with people doing things, or I suppose like we're doing. Uh, you know, but, but I've, I've, I'm less intellectual. I'm not. I'm not an intellectual. I'm not. A re I'm not a great reader of plays. Um, which doesn't, I, you know, some people are, some people aren't. I don't think it really defines you as an actor whether you are or not. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not. So I'm not great on the on on the writers and and the plays. I mean, I'm I, I just sort of do stuff. Uh, put put a script in front of me and I will work with it. Uh, you, your guess, UK government giving permission to perform plays? Uh, no, not not at all. Not not yet. Uh, and we don't see that happening um, for quite a while. Yeah, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, again, people asking more asking me about my favorite artists in India. I'm, I'm my uh, my involvement in India. I came to India a couple of years ago, uh, but that was for another thing. So I'm involved with yoga and uh, and music. I play play music for for sort of yoga um, classes and things like that in the UK. And we we went to Rishikesh and were part of a yoga festival there, which was totally amazing. Uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Met some beautiful people. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, uh, that's really my experience of India is more through that uh, than through theatre. Yeah, are there any any other questions before I round it up? I don't think I missed anybody out down here. Yeah. Uh, oh, we have performed many shows in UK. Ah, oh, great. Okay, your guess. You've you've you performed in in England, yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, yeah, I, that's not going to be happening for a long time. I mean, there's a great there's there's a uh, oh favorite classical as well as contemporary playwright. Gosh, yeah, you you. Yeah. I mean, gosh, I mean, I love I love uh, like Tennessee Williams, people like that. Again, they're not very Indian. It's American playwright, but uh, 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 Chekhov. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, the classics are a classic for a reason, but they're, they're, uh, because they 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 stand the test of time, and they always have something to say. So, so yeah, I've I've had great uh, joy working on Chekhov plays. I played Hamlet before, so I'm, you know, I've, 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 I've had that experience. So, yeah. Um, uh, any new play which you are, if you can share something about any new play which you're working on. Uh, well, I personally, I'm not working on anything at the moment. But my colleague, I mean, Ellie, I think she's listening to this. Um, she, it's part of what we've done in the Actors Temple is support playwrights. Uh, so we set up a a a a, 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 a way of of um, of. Uh, getting people with ideas to come and work with actors. And so there's uh, an undeveloped thing through improvisation, and that's been happening quite a lot recently. Nothing's actually been produced yet, but uh, it goes through. We, we, we support them through a process of developing, doing readings in public, and then rewrites and rewrites, the whole sort of creative process. Yeah, we, we do quite a lot of that, but nothing, nothing to show at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, So, uh, do you run court? Ah, oh, okay. But Megan asked something about courses. Uh, ah, Ellie. Uh, yeah, we, we we do. We run we run courses in London, um, but not at the moment, uh, and we have no idea when and if we can open. To be honest, uh, we have a studio in central London, and it's um, yeah, it's everything's closed. I was in London two days ago, and I walked around, and it's just everything's closed. So I have no idea when we're going to operate again. Some of our teachers are doing things online, uh, something that I'm thinking of doing myself, but as for now, um, yeah, there's nothing going on. Um, my first premiere. Uh, Yogesh, yes, sorry, yes. You're supposed to be doing a premiere in in Leicester in June and it's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's, it's across the board. It's, um, yeah, no, sorry about that. Well, hopefully things will change, and hopefully as well, you know, that this um, 
it's just going to be a different way of doing things. You know, we we have to kind of adapt, don't we? Um, so, uh, ah, yeah. But they, they, and so you know, VJ asking, what do you think about digital theatre? Well, I'm all for it. I'm all for. I mean, I'm for anything that presents the work that communicates what we do to people. And and I mean, I'm for local theatre as well. You know, I'm 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 really for that becoming, and hopefully maybe as a as a result of all of this, we realise that we don't have to be so fixated on the big sort of the big uh, organisations uh, and the big theatres that that are normally in big cities. And actually, theatres should be everywhere. It should be around. Um, you know, it should be in our communities, uh, and and also to a very high standard. You know, just because you know we we sh we don't have to go to. To London, if we feel as though we want to uh, to sort of be a great actor, I think we should create the, the culture and environment where we're okay to stay locally and uh, and share our abilities with the local communities more and more. So I think that's a big thing, and I think that um, and then also the digital platforms as well uh, as part of that. Um, um, I, yeah. Well, yeah, I'd love to. Sandeep, I would love to come uh, to uh, India and, and share workshops with you. That would be amazing. Um, and uh, also be interested in doing things on online as well. So, yeah, let me know about that. Um, I think the tie, I think it's been about... Th uh, oh, great, yeah. Yes, please, yeah, do invite me to, to plays you do in the UK. I think... I think um, uh, thank you, Tushar, thank you. Uh, I think we've sort of got to our time now. So, so yeah, I I just want to say again, thank you to VJ and the team at Coconut Theatre. Um, it's, it's very strange. I mean, I'm I'm used to sort of well, we're all used to, aren't we, talking to having people in front of you where you can interact. So it's slightly a slightly weird experience talking to my iPhone. But I'm I'm very grateful for the comments you've been making. You're making me feel not quite so alone and weird. Um, but I, I'm going to ask. I'm, I'm going to answer one last question that VJ has asked, which is any specific tip for young and budding actors. Well, um, uh, I suppose yes. Uh, it's be curious. Um, uh, be curious. Learn about you know. Find teachers. Find teachers that can that want to teach you about being a human being. Um, not necessarily just about how you can get on in your career. I think that's really important. You've got to find the right teacher. You've got to find people that can really, you know, talk about what I've been talking about, which is that, you know, what is what at the heart of being an actor is, is to learn about, you know, who you are and what, what it is, uh, what the human experience is really like. Uh, and and being never endingly curious about that, uh, and then most importantly as well to not feel alone and to connect with other people. That's also vital. We we are we, this is always a collaboration. We we need others to to do what we do. We need other actors. We need an audience. We need to you know we need collaboration. Whether that's online or or in other forms. Uh, hopefully one day we can get back into doing it in, in live, those live situations. But I think, you know, reach out, uh, talk about it, talk about, you know, um, uh, you know, b uh, talk about what it's like to, to be a human being with other human beings. I think that's probably the biggest advice I could give. <laughs> um, so, okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up now because I think we're about that time. Um, um, again, grateful for everybody that's taken time out to uh, to be with me uh, in this sort of slightly weird medium. Um, but yeah, I've kind of uh, I've really enjoyed uh, uh, really enjoyed talking to you. Um, and again, thanks to uh, to to VJ and Coconut Theatre, and also to say that uh, tomorrow um, the, the the guest on the platform tomorrow is going to be Amir Kabil. Fra, he's an Egyptian actor, and he will be talking to you and sharing his insights, I'm sure, um, uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m., um, your local time. So for now, I'm sending you, uh, well, so much love, really, you know, and um, and I hope that everybody's well and uh, stays well and uh, are able to get, we're able to, as a global community, get through this, which we will. 
uh, and and go with whatever uh, we have to go with to keep uh, what we do alive in some form or another. Um, so really, that's my wish and desire for 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 you all and us all. Um, so yeah, I'm sending you much love and. Um, yeah, let's see what the future holds. All right, take care. Bye-bye.